want to thank you for coming and sharing this special day with Matt and Jody. And before we do anything, I'm going to call on Matt and Jody just to explain what the heck is going on and why this particular day on this particular month is significant and this why over time is significant. So, the floor is yours. All right. Okay, uh, so in 2012, we actually had a traditional hand fasting ceremony in Glastonbury in England, which is actually the Earth's heart chakra. Um, hey guys! Hey girl. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we had a, a, a wedding as such, but nobody was there. It was just the High Priestess of Avalon, uh, which was the in the Goddess Temple there, she married us. And it was just something special for us. But it happened to be on the 21st of December 2012, which was the end of the Mayan calendar, and some people know that as being what was going to be the end of the world as we know it, as such. Um, and it was winter solstice, and it had all these kind of like, you know, we got to get all hippie on you, but it's sort of all this <laughs> hippie stuff was there for us. And then two years later, um, Nat's brother um, and sister-in-law in New York had been talking to us that year sort of saying uh, look you know I know you're not legally married but you're traveling all the time now so maybe if anything ever happened to you it might be worthwhile actually getting a legal wedding um, so we did do that in Manhattan we actually had a Manhattan City Hall um, ceremony with Nat's brother and sister-in-law there so we had a little bit of family but nobody knew about it it was just <laughs> just for just us, us. Yes. <laughs> and it was just to get that piece of paper in case anything ever happened while we were on our travels so a little bit after that we were we were house sitting in Greece and we were driving along this really beautiful ocean um, drive kind of think like a Malfi coast of Italy but not really because it was the Greek version so more like the poor man's version <laughs> but we're driving along and we had this idea it was like wow we got married in 2012 we got married in 2014 um, and the numerology of each of the dates, because the 2014 one happened to be September 11, so it was 9-11, um, and it was kind of like, well, that was when the world changed as we know it. <laughs> so, I know the first date was sort of representative of, well, I guess the first date in Glastonbury was representative of the universe changing, so at that level sort of thing, the end of the Mayan calendar. And then 9-11 represented when the world changed, and then I guess, this one it really is just representing us changing and today is um, we wanted to choose a, a number that really represented where we're at in our life right now and where we're wanting to move to so yeah. if you haven't ever done any numerology stuff it's like um, the numbers 1 to or 0 to um, 11 or 12 they all have a trait so our first wedding in Glastonbury was a number 11, which meant um, creati double creativity and confidence. And it was sort of significant for us because that was when we started in the whole traveling and house sitting and sort of creating, you know, we were starting from scratch. We had to start creating our own income and all kinds of things. And the 9-11 wedding in 2014 uh, ended up being a numerology of nine, which is representative of integrity and wisdom. And this one, the day, the reason we chose this day today to do this again uh, is a number eight, which is representative of abundance and power. And it, as Matt said, it's sort of part of our shift of where we're wanting to move into. We have so much abundance in our life within, you know, health and wellness. We don't have the financial abundance, but we're hoping that'll be part of the shift as well. <laughs> um, but there's part of the, the abundance of uh, friendships and community is actually why it's so important that we do this here. And going back to that drive in Greece, we decided, well, what if we actually, for the next 24 years, got married every two years and covered all of the numerology numbers? So that it's all like- months. All the months of the year, <laughs> all the numerology numbers. We've done December, we've done October. This is November. <clears throat> We're gonna be in Ochao and what this place means for us is that after almost a year of house sitting completely on our own, we never really engaged with other people for probably about 10 months of that first year. And we connected with Leanne. She said yes to us coming here. We'd never met her. The first person we met in this country was Yvonne. She picked us up. <laughs> As she dropped Leanne off, we never even saw her in the airport. No, we never even saw her. And then within the first two days, Linda had dropped in to check on us, Janelle had, Jim Suzanne, Jim, 
Jim was picking us up. That's right, from Yvonne. We had all this kind of like meeting of people all the way around. And then coming back the second time, um, meeting, I guess it was like the first time was all the Americans, and the second time was the Canadians. <laughs> and expanding. Yeah, yeah. And our Dutchies. <laughs> um, but you guys have kind of really gave us such a sense of welcoming and community and nothing like that had happened to us sort of in the whole time we've been together and in these two previous weddings they were so private and kind of on our own so we really wanted to share all these components with you guys and that's what this lunch is about so thank you for being here and thank you for the rain on turning up and thank you for Cindy it's gone to a house we want <laughs> okay, uh, and now I'd like to read an excerpt from uh, Gift of the Sea by Anne Marl Lindbergh, which I think is particularly apropos for here. When you love someone, you do not love them all the time in exactly the same way, from moment to moment. It's an impossibility. It is even a lie to pretend to. And yet this is exactly what most of us demand. We have so little faith in the ebb and flow of life, of love and of relationships. We leap at the flow of the tide and resist in the terror of the end. We are afraid it will never return. We insist on permanency, on duration, on continuity, when the only continuity possible in life, as in love, is in, as in growth, in fluidity, in freedom. The only real security is not in owning or possessing, not in demanding or expecting, not in hoping even. Security in a relationship lies neither in looking back to what was in nostalgia, not forward to what it might be in dread or anticipation, but living in the present relationship and accepting it as it is now. Relationships must be like islands. One must accept them for what they are here and now within their limits. Islands surrounded and interrupted by the sea and continually visited and abandoned by the tides of life. So now at this point, I would like Leanne, can you all please give your flowers to Nat and Jody? And we'll do a similar hand binding ceremony where we bind their hands. Thank you. <laughs> Reese. 
seal your vows with a kiss while we bestow our blessings upon you. You two are fabulous and have touched us all and we thank you.